Hello YouTube, Psychofox here. Just want to show you something that came through the post today. It was this circuit board. Now you may recognise from my 3DO stripped down video that this is a Panasonic FZ1 3DO circuit board. Uh, I've already got one in that 3DO there, but the difference is this is a PAL 3DO which plays in letterbox format. And this circuit board that arrived today is NTSC, which means it's full screen. Now, importing um, an NTSC 3DO from Japan or the States is quite expensive. You're looking at 40 quid plus postage. But luckily, I found someone uh, in the States uh, who was selling a 3DO, which had a broken disk drive. Uh, so, logic had it that the board was sound. So... They were kind enough to strip it down for me and send me the board which cost about cost fourteen dollars to post and I won the actual 3DO for I think it was eight dollars so all in all it was pretty cheap just to get this circuit board sent to me here in the UK. So it's obviously not in the case at the moment. I've got I've got a UK power supply from this 3DO plugged in and the only difference is uh, with this one, there's an extra little plug there, which on the uh, NTSC model plugs into a little grey box there, which might be a cooling fan, I'm not sure. And there's that little metal prong there, which on the NTSC runs a wire to there, a red wire. I'm not sure what they are, and it works fine without them. It's exactly the same uh, power here, 3.15 amps, 125 volts on the little symbol there. So I've just stuck this disk drive in, and although it's still stripped down, let's have a look. Disk access lights on, power lights fine. Uh, if I can get out of the way, there we've got the splash screen. Looking good, and there we've got full screen. As opposed to letterbox, on the PAL systems you get uh, borders top and bottom, you also get a slight border at the left and right of the screen as well. It actually says on the back of all the game boxes it will play in letterbox format, which isn't really what you want. So These consoles are absolutely impossible as well to modify for 60 hertz. Absolutely impossible. So uh, Getting one, importing one is about the only way to do it really. Let's have a bit of sound. Should have brought it down again to try. But anyway, so there we go 3DO and 60Hz. And I'll put another video on when I've got it all mounted up in the case. Thanks for watching.